Hey everybody, it is Mike Les, and here is a short video from my recent Idaho trip. Well, I was out here, I got to see different types of farming and so forth, but I uh, got to film these guys cutting hay, got to film some straw baling, got to film them picking up bales and so forth, but I missed out on all the baling of alfalfa hay, and that is because the majority of the baling is done at night out here. Everything we know about making dry hay back home or back east is totally different out here. It's hot and it's dry and they bale at night because they need a little bit of moisture on the hay to prevent leaf loss. If they try to bale during the day, I'm told every time the plunger goes back and hits that hay, all the leaves will fall right out through the baler. So they bale at night, uh, waiting on a little bit of moisture. I was told they normally start about 10 o'clock at night, 10 p.m., and will bale through the night. And uh, just depending, sometimes they can bale all night, then sometimes it gets too wet and they actually have to quit. But what I'm showing you here, uh, this is something I'd never seen before, the Staley West Steamers. So you can kind of walk around, as I'm walking around here, you can kind of see um, how this works. But what these are doing is uh, building steam so they can actually bail longer. They can bail during the day and so forth. Uh, sorry I didn't get to see them in action, it's just the way it works. But I thought this would be a neat little video since this is something a lot of my uh, YouTube fans do not get to see back home. So the way they explain hay making to me is they come in and they mow the hay, they windrow it, and they just leave it set. Where back east we normally go out and we ted the hay, spread it out, let it dry. They don't do that here. They mow it, they let it set out there and dry. And then when the hay's dry enough, they rake it one night and then generally bale it the night after. But with these steamers here, putting the steam on the windrow, adding a little bit of moisture to it, giving them good bale weight, preventing leaf loss and so forth, that gives them a bigger uh, window to bale and they can do a lot of the baling during the day then. I did a Google search and you can check out StaleyWest.com and they have links to a couple of their YouTube videos where you can see these steamers in action. Uh, pretty neat. I don't claim to be an expert on them. I'm only sharing what they told me out here. Again, this was new to me. But uh, anyways, just going to walk around this equipment show you something different that's never been on my channel before. I don't see a lot of this stuff on YouTube, but I thought it was pretty neat to share. And uh, that's quite a fleet of equipment, tractors and rakes and so forth. I'm not familiar with that uh, hay rake right there, but as you can see by the sticker early on, it's the rake that won the West. So this is going to be as close as you're going to get to see one of these in action on my channel for now. I do hope to make it back out here next summer. It's not that I can't do video at night, but uh, sometimes that doesn't turn out real good. But maybe next year, I'll just have to take my chances and uh, give it a whirl. A Gale CT723 telehandler. Now that is one machine I am familiar with. Back when I worked for Gale, uh, it started out as a joint venture where Manitou built three different telehandlers for Gale Company and branded them Gale. And then Gale built some telehandlers for Manitou. And they were painted red and branded Manitou. Now Manitou owns Gale. Like I said, it's just a short video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for many more.